So here is what the fence looks like after pressure washing. Some of that paint is just not coming off, especially on the knots. But it doesn't matter, I don't think, because we decided to go with a uh, solid stain. This was the first color we tried. Uh, it's supposed to be like a cedar looking color. The wife didn't like it. And so <clears throat> we are going with a different color now. Uh, but I quickly found out that I did not like applying this manually. So that's why I got this. So I ended up uh, doing a ton of research on some HVLP systems and it really, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. So it really boiled down to either something that you can get at Harbor Freight or this uh, Wagner Flexio 890. The reason I went with this one is <clears throat> it seems to be more suited towards paint and household use um, and that's mainly what I'm going to be using it for. I might try and experiment with other things, but um, but for the first job, which would be painting, you know, a couple hundred feet of fence, I think uh, it this is the best suited for it. And I like to go with a name <clears throat> that's kind of known for painting. Um, I know Wagner can get a pretty bad reputation with some of their uh, previous entries and and uh, some of the older versions of their paint sprayers but this one seemed to get really good reviews online and so I decided to give it a shot. I'm going to set it up now, unpack it, set it up and uh, do a test run with a sample of uh, not this one, this is the old one, but a, a sample like this of the other color that we chose. All right, so there it is out of the box. As you saw, it came with two nozzles. I'm using the smaller detail nozzle just because I only have a, whatever that is, a pint. Not a pint, what is that, a cup of paint. And um, so I also bought some paint strainers to go with it. I'm gonna set it up now. Okay, so I spent a few minutes just going over the instructions to make sure I understood how this works. So basically, you know, this little this little guy plugs in right here. Yeah. Like that. And then once I plug in, I can turn it on down here, but it doesn't actually start running until I flip the switch up here on the handle, which is kind of handy. You have um, your flow control back here, or your power, I'm sorry, your turbine power back here. Your flow control is down here, and your spray pattern is right here on the end. You can go vertical, horizontal, or I'm sorry, I did that backwards, that's vertical, horizontal. And then if you uh, turn it 45 degrees, it'll actually create a, uh, just a spot, like a circle pattern which is nice. <clears throat> the vertical and horizontal spray makes an oval shaped pattern. So I'm gonna get a, an extension cord out here and plug it in, fill the tank, get to work on that guy. I just have to say before I start, cedar is a great wood to work with because it doesn't matter how old and weathered it is, all you have to do is hit it with a pressure washer and it just bounces back to life. Take a look at this surface. You know, it, it's the wood looks fresh besides where, you know, we have excess paint. Okay, and let's compare it to what it looked like 
before I pressure washed it. Here we have gray, heavily weathered wood and old peeling stain. So I also just recently refinished some um, deck chairs that were made out of cedar. Same thing, hit them with the pressure washer and they just bounce back to life. Maybe I'll share a picture and show you what they look like or maybe a, I have a side by side that I'll share with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Told to mix it very well. I guess that helps with lumps and make sure it's homogenous. The young woman that uh, mixed this for me at Home Depot shook it with her hands instead of putting it in the machine. So I figured I got a lot of mixing ahead of me here. Unlike most paint sprayer systems, this one doesn't come with a viscosity cup. I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing. It could be good, meaning it doesn't need to be a certain viscosity to work. Or, it could just mean that maybe it's not made for that type of, uh, that level of uh, quality. I'm not sure. And just like that, I'm out. I'll take you in for a quick close-up here. <sighs> um, I don't know. I may have laid it on a little too thick down here. I'm trying. I got to figure out exactly what speed I got to run it at, and everything. But I mean, right out of the box, up here at the top, I sped it up a little bit, so it wasn't as runny and I think it turned out really well. Out of the box, I mean, set up, ready to go. It really wasn't that hard. Super clean, no overspray. I just dealt a little bit with the wind. So I'm looking forward to using this. It's gonna make my job a lot easier. And this uh, stain is gonna make it so I don't really have to pressure wash the panels as well as I did this one, I've determined. Because uh, it did take me about an hour and a half to do this, both sides of this just to get all that paint off and make it look as good as it does. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hit it with a pressure washer pretty lightly just to knock off anything that's loose. And then I'm gonna use, let this stain do all the covering. Okay, so how did it do? Well, my initial uh, impressions are very positive. It was very easy to set up, very easy to clean, virtually no learning curve whatsoever. However, I did watch a couple of videos on how to apply it paint with HVLP just kind of gave me some pointers so I knew kind of how to start out. Um, still up in the air as far as the quality of the finish just because I was painting on some beat up old pressure washed uh, cedar wood and and so you know 
the quality of the finish has yet to be determined, but I've got some upcoming projects where I will be using it to apply finish on flat surfaces. Um, but so far so good. This uh, retails for about $189 and you get the two uh, attachments, you know, like the fine attachment and the, and the bigger one. Um, I think it's a pretty good bargain um, and that's one of the reasons, the price point was one of the reasons why I went this, with this one over anything else that's available out there. The other reason is that most of the work that I plan on doing with this is uh, just household put, laying thick paint on walls and that's what this was designed to do. I don't, um, I do have some projects in the future where I may want to do some fine finishing like automotive style finishing and things like that. I'm going to probably have to look at another option for that. But who knows, this may be able to do it. Only time will tell. So, first impressions, very good. I hope you like this video and I hope this review is helpful, helpful for you. If uh, you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for future episodes. Thanks a lot and I'll see you again.